when the food arrives, we're going to have communion to commemorate Jesus Christ because the whole purpose of me coming here, the whole thing that motivated me to feed the hungry and the homeless was to feed the Word of God. And so this mission of me giving food in the material also is an excuse to give food in the spiritual. And so I see it as my job to give the recognition to Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said, in remembrance of him, drink his blood and eat his flesh. And so I'd like to do that today. Every couple of months I like to be reminded this is about Jesus Christ, not about Buddha, not about uh, uh, the Course of Miracles, not about uh, Jones or any or Mary Baker or anybody else. It's all about Jesus Christ. The Waikiki Beach Outreach Ministry is a non-denominational organization, a church without walls. It's pretty evident we have wall. There's another reason why we want to have communion because I want to share with you a special knowledge that was given to me Wednesday. We've been praying the past week about having God's spirit work in these leadership roles. I went to the city hall and some miracles happened. And I'm going to share that. You know, I'm just praising God. Thank oh. you. I'm just, I'm just acknowledging you. Matter of fact, great. I guess since you guys are the only ones that seem to be interested, otherwise the 80 other people that are going to come after, after we get in line, they're probably not too interested. But you know, those people that are here first, are the people that I'm remembering, I remember you guys, those people that, that pull the wagon, those people that have cooked a little bit, those people that come to Bible study, those are the first people that God, I'm sure, is going to lead me to ask to put in a leadership role because I went to, I guess I'll tell that story now. I went to City Hall Wednesday. We had three directors, uh, heads of the department, not, not, the, not the bureaucracy, but the guys working for Mufi Hanneman. Three heads of directors and the captain of the chief of police. And all I was looking for is stop ticketing the homeless. They said they can't do that because the legislator passed laws, and until those laws are, are changed, they got to do what the law tells them to do. The second thing was, how about give them some permits so I can use a microphone, a permit so I can use the electrical power so we can play some gospel music, a permit, a permit so we can a permit so we can have Bible study underneath the roof. There's 18, 18 tables underneath that roof over there, and we're lucky to get one or two tables. And on weekends, we're begging for one table. And on holidays, it's almost impossibility. We've served, we've had to serve on these benches. And so I'm looking for a permit to have Bible study and supper in the snack shop. And so I said, get rid of these obstacles, give me a permit, I need a piece of paper saying I'm authorized to do this. Well, I got disappointed, and the Parks and Recreation said, oh, we can't give you any special privilege, we can't do this and we can't do that, and I put a big smile on my face, uh -huh. yeah, I've heard this, sounds like bureaucracy. I said, okay, okay, and then one of the other directors said, hey, you know, we've been getting together here for some time before you got into this meeting. And we've been talking about turning over another building to the Waikiki Beach Outreach Ministry, but it's owned by the Department of D Defense. So they got to get into, they don't own the building, but maybe they can influence the governor. And I said, well, I've never seen this building. They said it's about a 25 minute walk down Montserrat. Well, I said, I've never gone beyond Campbell, so I don't know. But one of them, I had two supporters with me 76-year-old Mary was with me. She gave me a kick every once in a while when I started talking in my natural self. If it wasn't the Spirit of the Lord, Jesus Christ speaking, she kicked me. So she was a blessing to me. And the other guy is a uh, 
a, a, an attorney, a real estate attorney, and he said he knew about the place. He said, take it, take it, take it. And so, and so, and so I said, okay, I'll seriously consider because something's better than nothing. I mean, I believe the Lord is telling me we're going to have a place in the middle of Waikiki. But in the meantime, any place, because I can't cook. I have no refrigerator. I have no stove. And I'm walking miles with this, this uh, wagon and this food uh, six days a week. And it would be nice to be able to have some other op way to operate. And so we told him, okay, we'll consider this. So he, one of the directors went immediately into Mufi Hanneman's office. And he, he's, Mufi said, I'm going to talk to the governor right now. So I want to give I want to give thanks not to Mufi Hanneman, not to the directors of that were in that meeting, not to me for sure, not to the supporters that were there. But hey, how you doing? We're just telling the good news about uh, uh, about a building that might be available to us very soon in Diamond Head. And I want to give credit right now to Sue Ann, yeah. who's having a baby soon. She. She didn't have anybody to cook the meal today. She didn't have her husband here, so she went to Kentucky Fried Chicken, and she went out and bought the chicken that we're going to eat today. What a blessing! Again, this isn't about this isn't about me or this ministry. This is all about Jesus Christ. You see, He can work through a pregnant lady in a miraculous way, just so that we can each have something to eat. What a blessing this is! And so that's why we're going to have. <laughs> communion before we eat to remind us for those of you that are here that love Jesus Christ remind us that's what it's all about and so as I said those people that are here as if this building comes true you know there's gonna be a lot of jobs that are necessary and there's gonna be a space for those people that want to do something see that's the message I've been sharing you know being loving your neighbor and being willing to do something See, I'm not an evangelist. I'm a guy that takes you to the second step. And so if you're willing to do something, like pick up the Bible, or do something walking with me, then maybe you'll have a shelter. I've been telling you this since last year. God showed me that we're going to have shelter at the end of 2007, and it looks like it's going to happen before the end of 2007. And so keep praying, though. It's not here. Things can fall apart. But keep praying and keep giving the blessings to Jesus Christ.